What happens when the law enforcement agencies you trust fail to uphold the law? Picture a scenario where you're denied a fair trial, where your private data is used against you in violation of existing laws, and where the very people tasked with upholding justice intentionally mislead the court. This is not a hypothetical scenario, but a real-life event that unfolded recently, raising serious questions about violations of human rights and data protection laws. Our story begins with an initial hearing, sprung upon an individual with less than 48 hours' notice. Picture the shock of walking into a courtroom unprepared, only to be met with witness statements heavily reliant on hearsay evidence. This is in direct violation of Article 6 of the Human Rights Act of 1998, which guarantees the right to a fair trial. But the violations don't stop there. The Data Protection Act of 2018, a law, not a mere guidance, was breached as well. Personal data, including sensitive information about the individual's sex life and sexual orientation, was used as evidence. This misuse of data is a clear violation of the individual's rights to freedom of expression, assembly, association, and respect for private life. It also blatantly disregards the prohibition against discrimination. The court was led to believe in the validity of this evidence, even though the statements from witnesses A, B, C, and D were significantly altered between the initial hearing in February and the subsequent hearing in March. To add to the intrigue, witnesses A and D had undisclosed conflicts of interest, raising questions about the integrity of their testimony. The individual at the center of this case, a 12-year veteran of the British Army, believes that the police intentionally misled the court. The actions of PC Dickey and Kim Baker were called into question, with allegations of perjury leveled against them. Further, Surrey police refused to supply any video or audio evidence, while actively pursuing additional evidence only when prompted. The consequences of this case are far-reaching. If the community protection order is confirmed, it could result in the individual, who is also a member of the LGBTIQ community and a mental health sufferer, becoming homeless within 18 months of leaving the armed forces. This potential outcome underscores the risk of homelessness facing certain vulnerable groups, including armed forces veterans with mental health conditions, members of the LGBTIQ community, and sex workers. In summary, this case underscores the importance of upholding human rights and data protection laws. It highlights the dire consequences when law enforcement agencies fail to do so, and it serves as a stark reminder of the need for due process, fairness, and integrity in our justice system.